כן, אני רציתי, אני רוצה להגיד משהו מאוד מאוד חשוב. אתה יודע, ברוך השם, יש לנו חמש ילדים. ומהאלה חמש ילדים, ברוך השם, יש לי 22 ילדים. and five great-grandchildren. Wow. Now the point is, all the grandchildren and the great-grandchildren are descendants of survivors of the Holocaust. Wow. Because my children, the boys and the girls, married with families who had very bad experience in the Holocaust. Wow. For example, the um, grandmother of uh, one of my son-in-laws, she is still living, 92. She worked together in Auschwitz with Mengele. Wow. With Mengele. And she published a booklet about their experience, her experience. Uh, I think, well, uh, officially, uh, uh, first of all, they published it in Hebrew, then in Portuguese, because the family was s uh, some years in uh, Brazil, Brasilia. And uh, I think they are working on an English translation. And uh, the grandfather of One of my son-in-laws, he had a very bad experience. He was imprisoned in all kinds of concentration camps from 19th, from 39 to the very end, including Auschwitz and what was even worse, Mauthausen in uh, Austria. Yeah. He also survived and passed away in 90... Uh, in the year of 90 years old, 90 years old or something like this. So what I am talking, and that's amazing from, from, my, from the point of view of my background, all the grandchildren and great-grandchildren of mine are survivors, uh, are descendants of survivors of the Holocaust. That's, that is just unbelievable. It's, uh, it's unbelievable. It's... Um, man, it's no, but it shows... It's all in a it's, 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 it's It shows that, uh, that in spite of that, the Jewish people, because of their... Uh, because of their faith, do accept strangers under all, con under all uh, circumstances, um, provided that the strangers are serious. That means they don't hesitate, even somebody who is coming from Germany, you see, uh, to accept him, and finally he becomes a part of, of, of the Jewish people. And can I just ask, Rob, when, when your children, when they got married and the families, well, they obviously got to know that they, they, their father is uh, a descendant yeah, of, yeah, of, uh, course. of of but German all, army officers. Yeah, they, they know everything. Because how, how was their feeling? How did they react? Uh, they, they knew from the very beginning. Uh, to see, because there were so many interviews with me and, and films also, and television, so everybody who is living in Israel, uh, he, uh, he knows whom I am. And everybody knew, and uh, though they had their experiences, there was never any uh, hint uh, concerning uh, my background. That's amazing. Never. From all parts. You see, um, I have five, four are married, and these four have very, very bad uh, experience with, with the Holocaust. 
but uh, concerning myself uh, you were very warmly accepted uh, into uh, all the families uh, yes amazing my most amazing but that speaks it speaks volumes f- it for speaks. that speaks f- for the for the jewish people <laughs> for the jewish people that uh, they uh, th- there is no racism or something like that there might be certain people but generally speaking that is very strange to the jewish spirit wow. yeah that's what i think from this personal experience and Ralph can us in in your journey have you ever had any negativity from any when people hear your background and your father was in the german army and maybe associated with the ss you've never had any no any negativity or any negative no on the contrary uh, when i became accepted for example in yeshiva merkaz harav uh, raf tsviuda told me uh, listen you will not only learn with us you will live here and eat with us wow. i remember th- i remember that sentence at the very very beginning because when i came before my marriage i didn't have a frame and he said you will live with us and eat with us not only learn with us <laughs> well of course as i told you when i was a candidate for the rabbinate at the technion there were mm-hmm. discussions but finally they decided positively and then uh, when i uh, before i began the uh, course of officer in the army there were all kinds of rubas also uh from a point of view of um uh not of from a point of religious ela from a point of view but uh, from a point of of security how can you accept somebody from germany and we don't know exactly about his background to be an officer in the israeli army that has to be checked before we do it i know about that but then aluf ken araf gatavon aluf he said what are you talking about you have to accept him for that oh. course abal um, uh, khutz me ze sat mer uh, in spite of it in spite of no, it um, me ever me even um, more so even more um t- except these two uh, uh, events these about exceptions. i i don't really remember oh. any any uh, uh, negative uh, approach or behavior and i'm living here in israel since uh, this almost uh, 50 years half a century since uh, 1970 i i made aliyah on the uh, independence day by purpose wow. in 1970 in wow. 1970 yom haatz ma ut nan tashal 1970 but i think yeah. that by purpose of course as a symbol it's a symbol wow. you know on the uh, independence day So 50, 50 years so most of my uh, most of my life I li- I'm living here and there have never been uh, any problems wow. no. on, on the on contrary the, on the country Rav, you yeah. are mm. such an inspiration okay. uh, you are unique mm. I think in this world and um, yeah, I wanted to tell you that story that's amazing <laughs> I think that is the <laughs> most incredible yeah. then not the irony of history but yeah. that is it, it speaks yeah. volumes it speaks it it uh, it is a positive expression of of the behavior of jewish of judaism of jewish people towards a stranger that's it's a proof but you know even more so it's like a defeat of of what the nazis tried to do here you see mm. jewish kinderlach in, in yeah future generations mm. that are steeped in judaism mm. 
and it's just amazing that on both sides one was from a, a side that were perpetrators and one was side they were saved okay. it's just the most amazing but combination I, I, I think uh, those Jews who uh, know uh, Jewish history Jewish culture, Jewish thought they uh, have a good reason to behave like this because you know uh, important Hazal, important rabbis sure, we, 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 were Garim, sure, sure. according to the uh, uh, history, uh, even uh, Rabbi Akiva the, the well, Shmayav, Aftalion, the Onkelos, Agir, well, and so on. David so Amelich, yeah, his great grandmother was. They, uh, they are part of, of the frame, you well, see. Root, root. Yeah, sure, sure. With uh, the. Uh, root Hamoaviyah, Hamoaviyah, Dafka. Da, David Hamelech, okay. yeah, and the future the hon, Mashiach the will come from the house of from Root. Uh, 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 I think that's the base, and that's, that's the, base, the reason yeah. for, for this approach, for this positive approach. Okay. <laughs> Chodesh Tov. Nice, nice and, to meet you. Chodesh Tov. <laughs> it's been the most incredible experience. Yeah. Thank you so much. I will much. give you my, my book, Amken, uh, in... Uh,